Hey guys, and welcome back on board Agape. So far you've seen us upgrade our inverter, charger, and our solar. And now we're gonna dive into the heart of the system, the batteries. For over six years, we had uh, AGM batteries, absorbed glass mat, they're lead acid batteries, and now we're gonna be upgrading to lithium iron phosphate. And we're just gonna refer to them as lithium just to shorten it a little bit. It's been a long road to get here and we're super excited to do it. But before, we just wanna sit down and talk a little bit about the decision making behind it and what brought us to finally choose to go ahead and move forward with the lithium batteries. So the first thing we'll talk about is the lifespan of the batteries. With lead acid batteries, you get between three and 500 cycles. With lithium, you get three to 5,000 cycles or roughly 10 times as much. But first, what's a cycle? So when you're cycling a battery, you're bringing it down to, for lead acid, about 50% and then bringing it all the way back up to 100% state of charge, SOC. With lithium, you can bring it all the way down to about 20% and bring it all the way up to 100%. That equals one cycle. But for off-grid systems, RVs, boats, you very rarely end up fully cycling a battery. On Agape, we only use about 20% of our battery every day. For lead acid though, we would have to bring them back up to 100% state of charge every single time we had discharged the battery, otherwise we are damaging it. For lithium, doesn't matter. They really enjoy being at about 70% state of charge for the longest longevity of the battery. So in the real world scenario, lithium is amazing because it doesn't matter if we have a couple of cloudy days. If today and tomorrow are cloudy, it's okay because the batteries can stay at 80, 70, 60, 50% state of charge and it doesn't matter. Lithium likes that. If we tried to do that with our old lead acid batteries, we would have killed them in the first year or two. So right off the bat, just off lifespan, lithium wins hands down, especially when you look at it as in the real world, how we're gonna be using the batteries. So now that we've touched on the lifespan difference between the types of batteries, let's go ahead and dive into the weight and how that relates to the capacity of the battery bank that we have on board. The lead acid system that we had was 765 amp hours weighing in at about 500 pounds, whereas the upgraded lithium system will be a 500 amp hour system weighing in at only 133 pounds. So almost 400 pounds lighter by just switching to lithium versus replacing our old AGMs. But you might be thinking, but you're switching from 765 amp hours down to 500 amp hours. But it's not really the case because when you look at the usable capacity of a lead acid battery, it's only 50%. Whereas the Xantrex lithium batteries we can use the full 500 amp hours. So we're almost getting a third more usable amp hours by switching to the lithium batteries and saving 400 pounds. So now that we've talked about the advantages of lithium in lifespan, weight, and capacity, we'll touch on the advantages in their charging profiles. Again, if you're in an off-grid RV or on a boat, charging is key. You wanna be able to charge your batteries as quickly as possible when you have the surplus of energy. For lead acid batteries, it takes an incredible amount of time to get them from 50% to 100%. They'll take a lot of juice really fast from 50% to 80, but that last 20% takes an incredible amount of time. Lithium batteries, there is no bulk absorption float. It is bulk charge from whatever percent you start at to 100%. As much power as we can produce, they'll take. So how does this affect us on Agape? Even though we do most of our charging through our solar, we do occasionally have to run a generator or motor from one place to the next. With our old lead acid batteries, we might not have the generator or the engine on long enough to bring them up to 100% where they want to be. For our new lithium batteries though, the alternator or the generator will put enough power out that within just a very short period of time, we can take those batteries all the way to 100%. This is because there's no tapering in the charge profile. There is no absorption or float. They'll take as much power as we can produce. So for us, it's less engine runtime and less generator runtime. And we can really rely on the solar to charge the batteries. And even if they don't come up to 100%, remember that's fine. Our old lead acid, we'd be really disappointed if the batteries were down with our lithium. 
doesn't matter. So lastly in our decision making process was safety. And this was a big one for us as we usually spend a lot of our time in more remote places in the world. The last thing that we wanted was our batteries to fail, explode, catch fire, or something like that. So we know firsthand that not all batteries are created equal. And that as technology changes, there's always fear and doubt. When AGMs or sealed matte batteries first came out, one of the big questions was when you charge them, are they going to explode? If you equalize them, are they going to explode? Those have worked great for years. And now lithium is getting asked those same questions. But batteries are inherently dangerous. They do keep an incredible amount of potential energy stored for use later. We know this firsthand as when we first bought the boat, one of our AGM batteries started boiling as it internally shorted. And we had to disconnect it and remove it from the boat before it ended up melting down. Lithium is potentially dangerous, just as any battery is. But one of the things that when you buy a quality battery, like the Xantrex lithium batteries, is that you know there's a company that stands behind it and that they're using quality products. Xantrex lithium batteries have an internal BMS, or battery management system. This ensures that the battery is protecting itself at all times. It has a high voltage, low voltage shutdown, temperature shutdowns, uh, under or over current shutdowns, and all of this is to make sure that the battery stays within these normal parameters. One of the great features in their batteries that I really like is that you have a reserve 20% capacity. So even if you're trying to kill the battery, you actually have to go and press a button and manually say, I'm okay with using the last 20% of the battery. This ensures that when you're off the boat, you don't accidentally damage this huge investment that you made in these lithium batteries. But back to safety. Anytime that you're changing battery chemistry, it's important to make sure that all of your charging or discharging systems are compatible with that type of battery. This is especially important for lithium as you don't want to overcharge them. The lead acid batteries are a little bit more robust in that you can charge them into 15 volts and they're probably going to be okay. Lithium, however, you want to make sure that you stay within the charge voltage parameters. So one of the last things to talk about is the price. And I think a lot of us get hung up when we initially see the price tag of a lithium bank versus the lead acid bank. Yes, it's more. Lithium is definitely more expensive than lead acid. But when you start to calculate the numbers and the lifespan of these batteries and how it affects your lifestyle on the boat or RV, I think you're gonna find that it's worth it. First, at the lifespan end, you're looking at about three sets of lead acid batteries for every one set of lithium that you're gonna buy. And when you actually price that out, it's not too far off. Also, when you look at the capacity, just to equal the capacity of a lithium bank, you need almost twice as many lead acid batteries. So now that we've briefly gone over the decision-making process behind why we chose lithium and the advantages in lifespan, weight, capacity, charging, cost, and safety, we're really excited to finally get these new batteries on board. Tune in next time as we remove our old, extremely heavy lead acid batteries and upgrade Agape one more time with Xantrex lithium iron phosphate batteries. And thank you for following along as we continue to explore the world, powered by Xantrex.